Hi, it's Anthony Roth Costanzo, and I'm here, as you can see, in full costume, backstage at Santa Fe Opera, where I'm about to go on in the world premiere of John Corleano's Lord of Cries. Now, I'm thrilled to be a part of the New York Philharmonic's Practice 30 initiative, and I'm gonna to talk today about how I practice right before I go on stage. So, the theme and what I'm thinking about today is legato, which comes from the Italian word legare, which means to link. So what does this all mean? Well, it means from one note to the next, whether singers or instrumentalists, we're trying to make a very smooth line. And for me, I'm saying words and syllables, so how do I link these different values vowels and these different sounds. So one practice I do is to sing two very disparate vowels, and I'm about to show you. One is oo and one is e, right? They're as different as you can think. And you almost would imagine going oo-ee, 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 and everything moving around. But rather, I'm going to try and keep them as similar as possible to practice linking the vowels. So if I started slow, it would be like Then as I get faster, I go and you can go in different registers. Um, but what I don't want to do, to, I just want to show you the wrong thing is you hear how that makes everything sound separate. And if I go then it smooths it all out. And I love listening to, there's a violinist practicing in the background. I love listening to different instruments and how they link their notes. And I've talked to violinists and they like listening to singers in turn and seeing how we link. The last thing I'll tell you is when we're thinking about legato as singers, we're thinking about the resonance in our mouths. So here's a crash course in how singing happens. You make, you send air up through your body it goes into these vocal cords and it's like blowing grass between your thumbs, right? They come together and there's a little buzz. Now, if you cut off my head, all you would hear coming from my vocal cords was like a kazoo sound. But when that kazoo sound travels up and it bounces off all of the spaces in my face, it takes on color, it takes on shape, and it becomes my voice. So that's the other reason as we link and as we think about vowels, we want the shape of our mouth to be really intentional. So instead of going bee, which is kind of ugly, I want it to be beautiful and round. Bee, but I don't want the oo to be too dark. Ooh, I want it to be beautiful and bright like the e. So I do this every time before I go on stage. I'm thrilled that we could have this little moment to talk about practice. I hope all of you are enjoying practicing and practice a little bit of legato, whatever your instrument is. So to sign off, I'm gonna show you the incredible view I get to look at every time I walk out onto this amazing stage at Santa Fe Opera. Thanks so much, love you all and bye.